Oh boys, it's Dan. Welcome back to a Premier League prediction video for 2022-23 plus Premier League season. We have my Premier League table predictions. We have gone up in the editing world because you will see either this side or that side a chart, a graphic with all the teams in their positions. And if further ado, smash that like. Thank you very much. For 100 subscribers, let's try and get to 200 by the end of the year, and let's get into a very in-depth Premier League table prediction video. Let's go! Right, we're going to go from first to first, no, from first to 20th place. I'm not going to do it alphabetically because that's just lame and boring. So we have, in first position, we have Liverpool. I know I've gone with Liverpool, but in my honest opinion, with Darwin Nunes now, their attack has improved. But Man City, who we'll get onto later, have also made a big signing. Who you probably know. Excuse this, there. I've got a cricket match tomorrow. As a time, as a time of filming this, you not when you're when it's going out because it's going out sometime next few weeks time. So yeah. Liverpool first, have you moved to last season's winners? Manchester City, they also have a good shout. You can't pick between these two because of the likes of Haaland now doing Man City. Karen Phillips joining Raheem Sterling might be going to Chelsea. It's all blowing off right now, it's all kicking off in the Premier League right now. Big names, Haaland, Nunes, Ronaldo, all... Established strikers now at Premier League level. It's incredible. Man City, but it could be Liverpool or Man City. It could be Liverpool or Man City. We're also going to have the next team, might be in that way as well now, in Chelsea. They have completed their, um, their what's it called? The takeover. Todd, what's his name? Todd, somebody has bought it. They're bringing players in. Lukaku's gone back to Roma. They've won to main villain, like I mentioned. So they could be third. And now we move to Manchester. You know, I'll put them in fourth place because if Elik can hug, can get in the players like Frankie de Jong, Malassia, who 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 is linked, who uh, hijacked hide, hide, from Leon, Eriksson, Anthony, and Lestina Martinez, the centre back from Ajax. If you can get those five in, him and Frankie are him, him and Frankie are sick. Well, Frankie's sick. Anthony, uh, I've heard good things about. Malassia, wing back, left back. They've got three of what left back, but he can play right back. I think he can play right back. I'm pretty sure he can. Eriksson, great rotation, great rotation, slash backup, Cam or centre mid, and Martinez, six of black to put them. Uh, run, so, yeah. So we're in fourth, that's if we can get those players in the club. And hopefully we can do. And we move now to the team in fifth place, which I'm going to put Spurs. I know Spurs could be higher up, but I don't know how they're going to go with Champions League football and all them lot. But they have brought in some massive players right now. They have brought in, let's just mention, I'm going to mention a couple of names here. Ivan Perisic. Richarlison, Eve Basuma, those three. I mean, I mentioned those three. Oh, yeah, and Mr. Forster, that's four. And Mr. Forster, those four. I mentioned in those four people because they're the big ones. But Arsenal, I don't know. Spurs, sorry. Fourth place. But fifth place for them. Could be higher up, but sorry, Josh and Gaze for offending you boys. But I do think that we can get a better season because we are in Europa League and we're in Thursday nights. You're in, you know, night, but we were better because we have better squad depth for you. I move them to the sixth place, which is the one only the Arsenal. Now they have also got a chance of being at top six. Like you can't pick the top six. That's how that's why I've that's done that's how I've done it this way, because you can't actually pick them. It's really hard to pick the top six right now. Because all the teams are good. Arsenal brought in Paolo Vicente from Porto, Gabriel Jesus, and a couple of other players. Mark Turner from Buddy M. America, Jesus, mate. Yeah, that's them. Now we move. Um, we, 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 uh, 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 there's not much to talk about West Ham, uh, Arsenal because they're just a really good team right now. And we will now move to the team in seventh place. 
which is going to be West Ham United. Oh, this is going to be so close right now. I don't know how West Ham are going to play now. They're in the Conference League, but they had a fantastic season last year they made. If they can keep hold of Weiss and Sochek and Antonio, they need to speak and play it in. They're linked with Lingard again, like they were a few years ago. East Town permanent turning because his punt at Man United is going to run out at the end of the season. Well, it has run out, technically. But I'm seeing this, it has technically run out. And I move to the team in eighth position, which is Wolverhampton Wanderers. They have been a consistent midfield team up there in the top half of the table on most occasions. Bruno Large last season, in his first season, has done an amazing job. Honestly, a job of his century, Bruno Large. What a job that man has done at, done at that club and taken him really well there. And now we move into the team in ninth position, which is going to be Leicester City. Leicester ninth. You could say we could they you could say last season they had a, a poor season last year because they considered a lot of goals from set plays and stuff, but. I do think that they can sort the issue out and get back up there in that top half ish because there were some half five and six this is a really far off like no no I think they're fourteenth. I think they're like bottom half last season because they're that bad. This season they can probably get to the higher the higher reaches of the top half. They move to the team in mid table. Which is gonna be the improving Newcastle United. Now Newcastle they, have, they were improving last season. They have just announced the signing of Stefan Bottman of, of Lyon, no, Lille, from the French League. He is a great defender, six foot five, strapping, big strapping to set the back. Can annoy defences like that, can annoy attackers. But hopefully, United will can like, Hopefully, all the teams can get used to him. He's, 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 he's a great player for the Newcastle, great investment for them. 10th place because they were sick last season. They could have been in a lot more players this season as well. They need to keep hold of St. Maximan because he is the key for them. I mean, St. Maximan. They've also bought Nick Pope as well from Burnley. Great goalkeeper. Cracking keeper. Honestly, he deserves to be being playing in the firm. Great keeper. Fantastic goalkeeper, Nick Pope. Now he moved to 11th place, which is Brentford. I'll put that for them because they haven't got Christian Eriksen effect this season because he's now left because his contract has won out. Mm -hmm. He will, he's probably leaving to go to Manchester United because he said he doesn't want to play in London again. United, Brentford, 11th place, flat bang middle table. Now we, now we move to the first newly promoted team, and the newly promoted team is Nottingham Forest. In third, in twelfth place, Nottingham Forest. Well done for them for coming back into the Premier League after a twenty-four year absence. Congratulations, Nottingham Forest. They have been incredible in championship this season. They fully deserve to come up along with Fulham and and Bournemouth. Fully, 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 fully deserved. They have signed Dean Henderson on a season-long loan for Manchester United because he needs to get first team football Henderson and I think this Forest move could be a really good move for him getting him first team football trying to get him back in that England picture of a World Cup this year when the Premier League stops the winter break there'll be a lot of World Cup content I'm saying like a lot of it predictions not match day um, vlog, like live action vlogs from England and all sorts all sorts of stuff, predictions, England's predicted, England's team predicted, Scotty predicted the days and just maybe bail on it as well because I, I can go, yeah. All that is to come, but let's get back into the Premier League. In 13th place, we're going to go for Aston Villa. Under Stephen Gerrard last season, he didn't have, like, well, not last season, but like end of the season, you couldn't really judge him because, him because he just came in and he wasn't that good, but. The team looking good. They have signed Coutinho on a permanent deal. Philippe Coutinho is back in the Premier League on a full term basis. Welcome back in, Philippe. 
Coutinho, what a player you are, mate. Welcome back. That's all to do about Aston Villa. Now move to Brighton and Hove Albion. Last year they were good, but this season they might not do so well because they haven't got Eve Suma, one of their key midfielder players. But you can you can assume that Brighton will do well. I put them in 14th. They're pretty much they're pretty like what what be 14th then, but it's worth putting them in there. But yeah, now he moved to the team in 15th position. Is it gonna be Crystal Palace? Yes, because I know Crystal Palace on the Patrick Vieira. They always do really well in their first hit season. The managers do, but second seasons they always seem to get found out. And with no Conor Gallagher, they're practically their like star of last season. England team as well. He he's not maybe there. They've got they still got some they still got some great players though in the team, and they'll be in fifteenth place. And they moved to his team in sixteenth, who only just survived on the penultimate game of the season. Everton, they uh, lost with Charleston from Everton, but hopefully with that 60, 60 or fifty million pound that they got from Spurs, they can do some business, bring in some players. Bringing some good like attacking players in, and hopefully they can do well in it. And uh, they are sixteenth, and I move to a second. New to my hair, I believe, will stay in the Premier League, but they might go down. Is Fulham? Under, I think the manager is Mark. I think the manager is Marco Silva. I think I'm not quite sure, but in the Championship last season, they were bloody fantastic. Mitrovic. 46, how many goals he got last season? The most goals ever in the championship by any player, ever. But Fulham, they've lost Carvalho to Liverpool. I didn't mention that in Liverpool bit, but I have, have now. Uh, Liverpool sorted out now we move to Leeds. No, and our team in 18th place is Leeds United. Leeds. Um, do, do, do believe they can get, I mean, they're probably losing Rafinha to probably to probably Chelsea or Arsenal or Barcelona. They're the three teams that he has he's been linked with. If they do that, I mean, I, I mean, they still, I mean, they're bringing in players. To be fair, they're bringing in like a lot of Americans because of Mars. They're bringing a lot of Americans who I've never heard of apart, apart from one, Ben Brereton Anderson or whatever his name is. He can like who who had a head of the moment to the team in 19th place, which is Southampton. Yes, I do believe Southampton's time and the Premier League has come to an end. They have not played really uh, uh, they, the last season they do they did not play well the last half of the season. They were continuing to go, to drop and down, drop and down, drop and drop and drop and down. And that is now the last team in the in the table, which is 20th place, you probably know who it is now. It's AFC Bournemouth. Yes, Bournemouth. Because I don't think that their squad is good enough for the Premier League unless they bring in some players. Eddie Howe will be playing against his, well, Brandon against his former club, where Newcastle will go to the Vitality Stadium and on the South Coast. And that will bring. This Premier League table prediction to an end. Thank you all very much for watching this Premier because it is going to be Premier. Same as the Premier League predictions, game week number one. And if you, again, if you want to be on the first Premier League predictions for 2022, 23 season, let me know in the comments down below. And until then, the walls have changed as well. I will all mention that in the Premier League video. But until then, have a good day and let's get on with. 2022, 23 season. Until then, peace out, boys.